It's called the State of Hockey, Minnesota. The nights are cold, the winters are long, and the action is terrific. Tonight is another night of hockey in St. Paul for the Minnesota Wild. It's Minnesota, and the game is underway. Minnesota's going to find success if they stick to their system and structure. It will take a full team effort here for them to get back on track. The Coyotes setting things up in their own end. Into the attacking end. He throws it there. Paddled aside. Flips a wrister. And he'll hold on. Everything stops except the opinion of this man, Ray Ferrari. Really knowledgeable fan base here, guys. We know when we come in and talk to people how excited they are about the history of hockey here in Minnesota. They talk about their college programs. They talk about their high school programs that they went to. The high school hockey tournament here is a highlight on a yearly basis. But in St. Paul, one of the cool parts of the building is you can walk around and gander at all the high school jerseys that are displayed here. Okay, Ray, keep listening down there. In their own end, making headway. Into the end of attack. Snaps it on goal. What a save by Dubnik. Dubnik's looking awfully confident after that outstanding stop. I'm sure he's looking to make a little bit more eye contact with the shooter. The Coyotes carrying it in their own end. That puck's loose, defended away by Eric Stahl. Verbata's caught a stick up high. There will be a penalty. One-timer. That one blocked. Minnesota's got a minor penalty for high sticking here. The Coyotes get their first power play opportunity of this contest. Let's see if they can make good on it. He's got it there. He wants to clear it out. Minnesota's two-minute penalty is for shooting the puck over the glass. Delay of game. Arizona's special teams have been special. Let's see if they come up big here. It's a two-man advantage, and it's not short. The offense was strong, but the pad had the answer. And the puck gathered in by Coyle. Arizona's finding its way to center ice. Back near the blue line to Stone. Tipped by the stick. That's just good fundamental defense. Into the corner with that pass to Domi. A shot. Just couldn't find the target. That's going to happen. There's not a lot. Terrific shot, but a great point blank save. The goalie makes himself look big. A little under eight minutes played here in the first. No goals to report yet. Quick work on the faceoff. Oh, what a break. That shot hit somebody. It's cleared back, and this forces a recoil. Looks ahead to start something. Minnesota's done a wonderful job of penalty killing, and so we're back even. Finessed to smith Pelly, And angled to Declare. With a shot, not on the net. You talk about a heavy, hard shot. Unfortunately, it just missed. Pass off the woodwork to Declare. Gets across, looks over his options. The Coyotes battling along the boards. Moves it to the barrier at center ice. Shoots! He scores! You've got to get to this area of the ice. The goaltender looked pretty surprised here, Enzo. Good delivery of the puck beats him on the low stick side. So he played a while in this period, and finally a goal. I was hoping, Doc, that we were going to get that first one. Arizona's got that one. Now what? Gets in. What will he do? Snaps a wrister. And off target with that one. Oh, he's going to shake his head when he thinks about this one. He's right in the garden spot between the hash marks, and he misses the net. Bounced off the boards to Shen. Pitching this one to Beagle. Slid to McGinn. He knifed it away. Snapping a pass to Holland. That puck is loose. No luck getting through that time. Mashed in. And possession snapped up by Cronwall. 
thrown up the wing to McGinn. Chris shot. Cut his glove on it. Good defensive play. Loose puck, though. Slides it to the point to Goligoski. Oh, what a great block. Nice work by McGinn. Looking for room. Point to point pass. Hung right over him and couldn't get it passed. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. Now you can support the team in style. Just a hair under four minutes left in the first. Minnesota's up in this game, 1-0. Possession established. Good reach there. Point to point, it goes to Shen. Turned aside. Good quick poke check there. The pot's going bigger, and the time is running out to get your 50-50 tickets for the grand prize tonight. We'll make quick work on the faceoff. Oh, and it's off the mark. Right idea, but he just missed the net. Chip to Zucker. Thrown in. Arizona's organizing things back in the defensive zone. Gets in, looks over his options here. Fires! That shot came from right in front. Inside the final minute of the period. Snaps one in there. Skates out with it. Looking for options. Robbery there. Collected in the corner. Throws it to Stone. Wonderful stop. A missed opportunity from this close in. After being under attack the last sequence, they needed a whistle. Stone's a wrecking ball on skates. He finishes everything at both ends of the ice. As a result, he is among the very top of the league in the number of hits delivered. Fans, take a look at our scoreboard as we acknowledge tonight's special groups in attendance. First face off of period two. Pitching it to Nita Ryder. Has it in his own end. Directing that one to Tavares. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Point blank save. Moving it to Nita Ryder. Trying to go to Koivu. Oh, the pass just didn't work. Gloved. What a glove save. He showed him the glove and he took it away. Now it's directed to Cronwall. Propelled to Tavares. Score! And this one is tied! The goaltender had no chance stopping that puck with the quick release. Dubnik's looking down, checking where this puck worked its way through. He stopped enough of it that it should be in front of him. However, it somehow squeaked through. Arizona's got the game even up again. Still in the second period. Lots of time. Can't wait to see what happens now. Minnesota's got another face-off win. Zone to zone to Miko Koivu. Passing one off now to Niederreiter. Got it in his own end. Looking to Sezikis. Gets in. What'll he do? Oh, and he missed the net. Rodin's hooked on this play, and the arm of the referee is high. Arizona's roster goes down by one here. At least briefly, a minor penalty for hooking. And so begins power play number one. Let's see if it's power play goal number one. Takes that pass up the boards and stays. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Good grab again. Just wide of the net. Oh, here's a wrister. Just wide with the shot. He's got him against the glass. Scrum over, puck kicked. And possession now on the pickup by McGinn. Tremendous pressure. Up the boards with it now. Hammered. Oh, and a save. The Coyotes have killed it all. Nice play by the goaltender to freeze it up and get a whistle. Tavares is such a reliable player. His coaches use him in every important situation. He has among the highest plus minus totals in the league, and that justifies the confidence the coach shows in him. Solid clean win. Laid on to Eric Stahl. Taken over again. Pass attempt to Sezikis. 
Puck grabbed. What's next? The Coyotes in their own end lug that puck along. In the defensive zone, he's holding on to it well. Snaps a wrist shot. Waffle boarding. Strong shot deflected out of play. Minnesota's store has a lot of great things for you to look at. Cash your credit cards welcome. You'll walk out with wonderful gifts. Good clean win on the draw. With a drive. Wonderful save. He was hovering right over it. Seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. We have passed halfway through the second. Only a pair of goals so far equally divided. On to Suter. Minnesota's continuing to probe up the wing. Smart recovery by Coyle. That hits somebody. Could not be filtered through a strong play by Shen. It's one of those restraining fouls. It's a hooking penalty, and the arm of the referee is up. Minnesota's two-minute penalty is a minor, and the call is hooking. This power play has to find a way to get more people to the net. I sure agree, Eddie. We're expecting that to happen here. Let's see if it does. Gathered in by Stone. Hope checked away by Ryan Suter. Shoots one. Just missed the net. In this situation, you have to hit the net. Sometimes it's best just to fire it right at the goaltender. Pointed to Goligoski. Picked up by Sizikas. Able to take the pressure off by clearing it back out. And the puck is scooped up by Stone. Pitching this one to Tavares. He gains the zone. Minnesota's in their own end and controlling play now. Cleared back out. Not much pressure there. Minnesota's killed off another one in a long list of penalties. Still perfect. Takes it behind his own cage. Back near the blue line to Goligoski. Nap by John Tavares. Pass across at the point. Oh, and blocked away. This is overwhelming. Hits behind the net. Still no shot. Oh, how can they miss that pass? Puck is thrown to Dalton. Penalty coming up, but it's a delayed call. And so now a penalty will be handed out. Arizona's penalty is two minutes for elbowing. The Coyotes with a clean win on the draw. And it's lifted back out of trouble. That one goes back in where a goaltender can make this play, not a defensive effort. What a hit! I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Good work with the stick by Niederreiter. The puck taken hold up by Brodeen. Used the stick well, didn't he? That one by Sizikas. Gets in, and he'll look over his options. Slides it to the point to Brodeen. Oh, and he's hammered. Every puck is contested physically. There is a collision on every shift. Possession taken over by Spurgeon. Kicked out of the scrum. The Coyotes are back even. Pointed to Quincy. Let's it go. Nicely received at the point. One timer. Great save at the edge of the crease. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you gotta find a way to put the puck in the net. Good reach there. Fires! A quick turnover by the defense. Can they keep it going here? The second period has been played, and that's the fun part. We now look forward to the third. Are you a super fan? Here's your chance to prove. Both teams have found the back of the net, but it's even underway here in the third. Slid to Parisi. Dumped in. Pope checked away by Shen. Carried to the corner by Miko Koivu. Went to the backhand. Blocked that one. Gets a little drop off from the goalie here. 
Onside. Press to the glass. Skate kick out of the scrum. Chip to Niederreiter. And he's still got that puck up the wing. Muscled long to Parisi. Can he generate something from there? Scrum over, puck kicked. Fires! All oh, deflected away. Decides to head for the corner. Terrific corner hit there. Score! Shot was heavy and dangerous. Good thing it didn't hit anybody. Eddie, he just can't catch up to this. That is a rocket that beats him cleanly. Minnesota's gotten the lead here, breaking the tie in the third period. What a raucous ride to the finish we're going to have now. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. Propelled the Gronlin. Hammer! Wonderful save! He made it look easy. What a stop. Takes that pass from the other point man. They score! Two in a row! That puck looked like it got deflected right in front of the goaltender. I'm sure Ray had a much better look at that. It did get deflected, Eddie, and when we get a look at it on the replay right here, you're going to see the goalie's in position, but because the puck is deflected the way it was, it gets past him in a way he just can't react to. A little under six minutes have passed. Just recently, another goal, and so the lead is two. Grab the two centermen tied up, but there was a good reach there. Play has stopped, and now we'll hear the call. Minnesota is going to lose a man for two minutes. The call is high sticky. Zizekas has come up short on another faceoff. The Coyotes are starting back in the defensive zone. Laid on to Reeder. Guarded the goal again. Routine play done well. So on this power play, they will resume from their own end of the ice. On to Smith Pelly. A shot. Ooh, what a break. Shot hit the man. And the heat's taken off by the clear. Nicely into the zone. Whoa, what a play. And they got it out of there. Puck is seized by Stone. Snapping a pass to Goligoski. Looking for a better lane. The Coyotes' power play is over. It has been empty for the night and a lot of chances. And the puck out of play into the players' bench. We go down to the benches. It's Ray Ferraro. The Coyotes haven't helped themselves at all. They've had a lot of chances. No puck luck, but you've got to get the puck on the net when you're in the scoring zone. What do they say, Ray? Without bad luck, they'd have no luck at all in this one. Arizona's got another face-off win. Puck loose, denied by the defense. Minnesota setting things up through the neutral zone. Slid to Shannon. Pitching it to Niederreiter. Jabbed away by Cronwall. He scores! Three straight goals! Niederreiter's quick wrist shot surprised the goaltender in close. Really good positioning. He's in the butterfly where he's got most of the net covered, but there's obviously a hole in the pucks behind him. Minnesota's goal has taken them to an even larger lead on a night that they have had the offense going. Third period of play. Chip the Gronlin. He gets through. Back near the blue line to Brodine. Carried to the corner boards by Eric Stahl. Puck out in front. Nice little lead to Gromlin. Driving through the neutral zone. Shoots one. Great glove save, and he keeps it. Oh, he thought he had him on the glove side. Hey, Ray, what's going on down there? 
Dubnik's been incredibly stable tonight. Any chance that's come his way, he's snuffed it out. He's given his team so much confidence. That's a championship performance tonight. He has been spectacular in goal tonight. Absolutely, Ray. Thank you. Off the face off, he ties his man up, and so the puck goes to his team. Lugged along the line. Shot on. Oh, what a stop. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. Knocked right off the stick. Off that right side, he's got a perfect pass. Turned on net. Wonderful save on the redirect. Slides it to the point to Quincy. Big drive. Oh, he got in the way of that when it's blocked. To Dolphy. The ground one. Gains the zone. Through the corner now. Great job on a cut pass. And down to Dolphy. Great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. The Coyotes have it up the wing. Moves it to the corner. Propel to Doan. One-timer. Got a piece of that one. A cover, and play is stopped. He did it. It's another sold-out game. The team would like to thank you for your overwhelming support. A good tie-up on the face-off. That led to his team getting the puck. And he missed the net. The Coyotes are looking to finish some of those good scoring opportunities, but they are still down. Minnesota is only going to get two minutes on this call, but it was tripping. Advantage, even if your percentage is poor. Are you listening? We're still waiting to see our first power play goal after all of these penalties. Score! On the road back, perhaps. He shot that puck so hard, I only saw it when it finally came back out of the net. Dubnik's not able to catch up to that bullet, Enzo. It beats him up over the shoulder on the blocker side. Arizona's deficit is now just two. Third period, still time to go. Let's go, guys. Neutralized face-off win. Gains the zone. Snaps off a wrist shot. A lightning light club save. We are in the last minute. Directing that one to Niederreiter. He's alone! Great save! Arizona skating in their own end, trying to get to the neutral zone. Laid on to Tavares. Shoots! What a reaction save! Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. It's an onside play. Possession now on the pickup by Brodeen. Moving it to Niederreiter. Two guys together with force. Big force. We saw him coming just at the last minute. He's able to spin off, but that's a big hit. Trying to go to Miko Koivu. To Tavares. Fires a shot. Strong shooter against a strong goaltender, and the guy with a trapper won. They won that faceoff. Can they clear it? Good work up front on that hit. And we get a penalty here. The referee strides over to hand it out. Minnesota's roster goes down by one here. At least briefly, a minor penalty for hooking. Game over. The Coyotes battled right to the very end, lost a tight one here, and the winning streak is over. This loss ends a nice winning streak, but they've got to be happy with the way they played here tonight and recently.